نحمده ونسلم ونسلم على رسوله الكريم ما بعد gathering people on certain days after the death of a loved one is considered innovation especially if it is done on a certain time certain day say three days or ten days or forty days or a year these gatherings where people come together in order to make some dua or do some isal al-thawab so on its own isal al-thawab means passing the reward donating the reward to the deceased is perfectly fine yet making it a specific thing for a specific day by gathering people on certain days especially when sunnah is only to remember or make some special mourning for the person who passed away as allowance is for three days so doing a gathering to mourn the disease or to gather together and read certain stuff certain parts of quran certain duas will become a sort of innovation for the fact that this is not something which will be done in accordance with sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam now one may ask but there is no hadith to prohibit it there is no report which suggests that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam prohibited it so it shouldn't be impermissible so generally it would not be as long as it is not made an obligation or not made a, a done thing not made a thing that if you don't do you are considered bad or you're not supporting us you're not joining us for certain days now sometimes people do it to make it easy just to gather people and everyone makes dua but that shouldn't take a form of a specific day a specific time but unfortunately it has become so rampant and people actually do it on a regular basis 40 days three days ten days every year six monthly to make it a must and not attending those if you want to not to or if you opt not to would be considered a bad thing with people who feel offensive uh, offended by the fact that you didn't turn up to the meeting that on its own is telling us that this is something which we should try and avoid we should be free to go and attend and we should be completely fine to not do that rather you should be able to do isal al-sawab on your own individually without showing off without being pressurized to do certain things because this is all voluntary action to make a voluntary action into an obligation through social pressure is unethical and un-Islamic. Yet, if someone does it on you know certain days without specifying the day, without making it a must, without doing it you know the same day all the time, there would be some leeway for that. But as this was not the practice of the pious people of the past, like Sahaba Tabi'in, Tabi'in, the, the Imams, it has just become a norm in the society quite recently one should try and take the cue from their lives and follow their path inshallah ta'ala and stay away from such regular practices which has become more of a part of our culture norm and cultural norm and also part of our society whereby if you don't do such things you are considered um, not bad but generally not as good a muslim as the person who does it that becomes a criterion whereby people are judged again so then on its own for just this reason it would become something which is not liked or uh, you know prescribed in sharia so to avoid such actions